A week after his tragic death, the family of Rennick Lambie is fighting for justice. The 61-year-old was hit and killed last Thursday as he was riding his motorized wheelchair home in the Northeast Valley. I spoke exclusively with his wife and son in a story you'll only see here on 8 News Now. He was a caring man, a giving man, a man with dreams that he lived every day. Memories of a life full of love blend with sadness over time stolen too soon. I wish I was there to help him, to, to be aid to him so he don't die. Rennick Lambie's wife and son share what they'll miss most about him. A week after he was hit and killed by a car here near Lake Mead and Lamb while riding home in his motorized wheelchair. No one wants to go home and have to tell their children that their grandfather isn't here anymore. Police are still searching for the driver, who they say took off after the crash. The Lambies have their own mission to find this person and hold them accountable. There's no way you can sleep at night knowing that you hit somebody, left them there to die, and did not come for it. That's why they're asking us all to take a moment and think of Rennick. The days he spent as a father, husband, grandfather, and friend. Even when the skies that we look upon should crumble and fall. And remember the justice he now so desperately deserves. I am asking from my heart, please come for it. Please say something. Rennick was hit on Abel's Lane near Lake Mead and Lamb again in the Northeast Valley. If you know anything, please call police or Crime Stoppers. The Lambies are also raising money to hire a private investigator. If you'd like to help, head to our website, 8newsnow.com.